Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Ruiel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. I also took my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in the pharmaceutical chemistry program. Today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so the first question asks, how many electrons can the d orbital hold? Uh, so first, let's recall the different l values for all of the different s block, p block, and d block. Um, orbitals. So the s value for s, p, d, f just starts at 0, p is equal to 1, d is equal to 2, f is equal to 3. So in the case of the d orbital, which I'll just box here, it will range from negative 2 all the way to positive 2. And then I'll just show all the orbitals here. So if the d orbital had a full set of electrons, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So therefore, the d orbital can hold ten electrons. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. d orbital is one of the subshells present on the topic of atomic orbital shells. It is next to the p orbital. d orbitals have a total of five orbitals that can accommodate two electrons per, per orbital. Hence, the d orbital can hold up to 10 electrons. So you can see the d block on the periodic tables has 10, 10 elements per period. Okay, so they conveniently added all the different, well, they added the periodic table and labeled all the different blocks. So the S block are columns one and two. And then these are the six for the P block. And the D block is in the middle right here. And like they mentioned earlier, there is 10 elements per period. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then lastly, the F block are just the last two um, rows at the bottom of the periodic table. So the lanthanides and actinides. Starting from the leftmost part of the D block, it contains one electron at the D subshell. The number of electrons increases as you move to the right of the D block until you get to the rightmost part of the D block, which corresponds to 10 electrons in the D subshell. Yep, so this solution is correct.